Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to install the ICI Magnum CL Series grill on this 2015 Ford F-150. Let's go ahead and get started. Alright guys, so obviously the first thing that we need to do is remove our factory grill. So we've already gone ahead and done that. We've had a couple grills on and off of this truck already. Now if you need help with that, go ahead and reference our how to remove your front bumper. And in that video, we show you how to remove your stock grill. But now we're going to go ahead and remove our shutter assembly from our grill. Alright guys, so we got our factory grill on the ground and the first thing that we're going to do is remove the three nuts that are at the bottom. We're going to use a 10 millimeter to do this. But this should come off. Like I said, they can be a little bit frustrating. If you have a hard time with them, just try applying a little bit of pressure to the bottom as you're spinning them and that should help them come off. Now on each side of your factory grill you're going to have a nut here and here and those are going to have to be removed. And that's also going to be a 10 millimeter and then when you start to spin this you can see that the whole thing actually spins what you need to do is get a flathead screwdriver and stick it in there to hold it in place. And that's going to allow that nut to come off. And then you're going to do the same thing on all the rest of the bolts. All right, now the last bolt that we need to remove is right in the middle of the assembly right here. And we're going to use an eight millimeter to remove that. Now we can actually remove the shutters and then just set those to the side. So now we got our new grill and then before we attach our shutter assembly to it, I'm just going to do a little cleanup on our wires here and I'm just going to take a zip tie and kind of tie them together right in the back. And now what this is going to do is make sure that they kind of stay together when we put the shutter assembly on, but it's also going to make it look a little bit neater once you get the grill on. All right, so now we're ready to put our shutter assembly on top of our new grill. Now you want to make sure that the brackets at the top are actually facing down with the nut head up. And then we're going to take our shutter and we're just going to slide that on. You want to make sure you go over the top of the brackets at the top with your two long bolts going through the holes at the bottom. All right, now we're looking at the top of our assembly where our four brackets are that are lined up with our four holes in our shutter assembly. And we're going to use the push pins that we took out at the beginning of the install. And we're going to push those in and then clip them into place. And that's what's going to be holding these two pieces together at the top. We're going to do that in all four locations. And then we're just going to leave these brackets uh, loose and that's so that we can make sure that it's all centered and then we'll go and tighten it before we put it on the truck. Now we're at the bottom of our grill and our two uh, long bolts are going to get a washer and then a locking nut. Then you want to make sure that the shutters is aligned evenly with the grill. And then once you have everything aligned, you can go ahead and tighten down these bolts. Alright, now on the side, you can see we also have two brackets. And these are going to use uh, our provided uh, Phillips head screws. And they're going to go through the plastic and into our uh, our clips here and we're just going to feed this clip behind the shutter and then we're going to use a drill we're going to do that on all four brackets 
All right, now that we have the side brackets in, we can go ahead and tighten down the brackets at the top. We're gonna use a 10 millimeter, and that's gonna be four brackets. All right, guys, so now we're gonna wanna wire in our wiring harness to our grill. Uh, you can see that you got two leads coming off your harness. These two are gonna match up with your plugs coming off of your lights on your grill. So you're gonna wanna match up red to red, black to black. And then on the other end, you're gonna see, you're gonna also have a red and a black that's gonna go uh, to your battery and to a ground. Um, and then you're also gonna have a plug that's gonna go through your firewall and into the cab where you're gonna connect your switch and then you can put your switch anywhere in your cab that you want. Um, so we're not gonna really show all that because everybody likes to do that differently. All right, now we're gonna mount our grill, same way that we took off the factory one. All right, guys, now that we got our grill set in place, we can go ahead and attach it the same way that we took the factory one off. And then after that, we can go ahead and run our wires to our battery and into the cab accordingly. All right, guys, that completes the installation. If you have any questions, give us a call or visit us online. Thanks.